sister because I'm Palestinian, I'm a woman, I'm a Muslim, but I'm not intentionally these things. They are dividing us in a huge way and we have to try to break that division. I think it's a new form of message sending. It's not a new form of resistance because I'm not resisting the occupation with it. I'm just giving people a platform to express themselves, which is good for the people. I don't know, maybe it connects us with the West, so people in the West now all relate to us and they're like, we're like everybody, you know? Everybody is like everybody, but they don't see that on the news. Israel, the only true democracy. The sheep thinks that the shepherd, their best friend. The shepherd provides water, food, and creates the illusion for the sheep that it's protected. But unfortunately, by the time the sheep realized that the shepherd was not their best friend or the protector of their interests, they are already in the slaughterhouse. This is the reality of what's happening in the East. Leaderships of the Palestinian people, my people by the way, and I have the authority to say this, Label me as a traitor, they can say whatever they want to say. As a child, I was fed with hatred that Israel was our enemy. While the Palestinian leaderships, all of them were sitting in Tunisia, spending billions of dollars. In the meantime, they were sending children to die. Hamas, die. Hamas, die. 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 They sent us to the slaughterhouse. They wanted us to die. The shepherd thought, how many sheep I'm going to sacrifice today? get the attention of the world so maybe we get some more funds so they decided to slaughter a hundred sheep two hundred sheep using children and women as a human shield in Gaza Strip create chaos they're very good at doing that whether you call it intifada you create chaos in a state of chaos, you distract everybody, and the thief knows how to find a way. Same thing now, on a global scale. Friends of Israel, the only democracy in the Middle East, the only true democracy. The only democracy in the Middle East, the only true democracy. Israel, the only democracy in the Middle East, the only true democracy. Israel. The only true democracy. Israel. The only democracy in the Middle East. The only true democracy. The only true democracy. This race. This race. This race. This race. The only democracy in the Middle East. The only true democracy.
you represent? You are representing greed. Wearing the mask with what so-called Palestinian cause. You are a liar. You will be unmasked. If they were sincere and truthful in their approach towards peace, they would go and educate the Palestinian people. First of all, of the actual history, not their history. Those people need to be exposed to public. They are creating, as they created the chaos and the division within the Palestinian society, and they blamed Israel. Now they are doing it on a global scale to make everybody hate Israel and to turn Israel's friends against it, to turn other democracies against Israel. It's their game. They are very good at it. One of the most powerful tools to stop them, I say, stop giving them money. Somebody has to say something. They are not trustworthy. They are the enemies of the Palestinian people. I'm about to conclude. Instead of empowering them against the Palestinian people, empower the Palestinian people, empower the individual against them. Um,